everyone. I'm Erin Hardick. I'm here with Matt Futch. Matt is the Director of Business Development at NREL. How are you today, Matt? I'm doing very well. So talk to us about your title, Business sure. Development at NREL. What, is, what does that mean? Yeah, it seems a little bit uh, unusual, squirrely maybe. Um, so the National Renewable Energy Laboratory is a federal laboratory. However, our strategy is to continue to be relevant and do both applied science and fundamental R&D. So the applied science is mostly with our partners, so utilities, vendors, big companies like ABB, Duke Energy. Um, so I run all of the private sector, non-federally funded portfolio, which is roughly 75 to $100 million per year. So this is your first ETS, correct? Yes. What drew you to the event? How did you find out about it? So um, about every year, I look through all the conferences globally around the world, and I keep seeing this little really snazzy, very sexy, super uh, media savvy little snippet from ETS, and it pops up into my email, and that's how I figured out about it. Oh, wow. So how does NREL tie into this year's theme of Dreamin' Digital? Okay, sure. So a big part of our work is uh, data science and data analytics on the power system. So we are developing a uh, long-term high-performance com computational capability for analyzing grid flow in real time so that you can immediately do distribution planning. So that's a big part of our function. So we were on a panel together yesterday, actually. Can you kind of tell us about the video that you shared on your panel around data visualization? Sure. So we have a project. Uh, it's a net zero project, 400 acres. Um, the purpose of that project is to see if you can build a financially and technically feasible. Can you actually build it? A large new city development at almost no grid power and 100% renewable energy. What would that actually look like? So we're trying to visualize that in three dimensions in space. And so that's what that video was about. So we've had about two and a half days done, probably two days done. We have a day and a half left. Sure. Have you had any moment that stuck out to you in particular or something that you're looking forward to towards the end of the event? Yeah, so um, besides after parties, mm -hmm. um, I think uh, the main stage was someone just today on stage, and I can't remember his name, um, that talked about um, thinking about things from uh, not digital incrementalism or just transitioning or just implementing an EAM or some type of technology into the utility back office. Stop thinking that way and think about the ability to actually transform the way that customers actually use and think about energy in their retail provider. That I think that was a fundamental point of the conference, really. I really enjoyed that particular presentation. All right, well, thank you for taking a few minutes out of your time to sure. talk with us today. It was really great, and I hope you have a, a really enjoyable time for the rest of the conference. Thank you. It's in Austin, Texas, so how can we, how can how we go can wrong? How can you not? All right. Thank you. Thanks, Matt. Thanks a lot.